I'm relaxed. Are you relaxed? Just sit here, enjoy the music. Never mind. Welcome to Donkey Kong Country. Again, that people mentioned that may not have as much direct platforming as some of the more modern games, but I think it's fun enough, don't you? As I've done in so many games in the past, it's good to stock up on lives. Would you do so by those balloons you find? Collecting a hundred bananas as well as collecting the letters K O N G in each level. In this particular level, though, it's quite generous in all aspects. The primary difference is between Donkey and Diddy. Donkeys, of course tougher than Diddy is, so he is a better when it comes to offensive capabilities. Well, Diddy, probably a little bit, he's speedier more than anything else, and he has a better jump, I believe. But some of the tougher enemies, Diddy has a di more difficult time dealing with than Donkey does. Rambi here, his primary appeal. Especially when you're attacking things from up front. You may even be able to crack open some cave walls and unlock some shortcuts for bonus levels. In the first few levels, there are shortcuts just off the screen. In cases like that, for example, Sorry about that. Quick doggy check. <laughs> For a Super Nintendo game, the graphics are quite beautiful. Which more or less shows the timeless nature of 2D gaming. Oh, you can usually tell about how far you are in a level based on which of the Kong letters you picked up. But of course, even that changes from level to level. Sometimes they're closer together, sometimes they're further away, of course. I give one example. What Diddy has a little difficulty doing is jumping on armadillos, as well as those tougher enemies, the ones that have the, the helmets on their heads. Donkey has a bit of an easier time dealing with those than, than Diddy does. And that's basically what Cranky does. He gives you little tips and makes jokes as well. In this game, you don't actually lose a life until both Kongs get damaged. But 
but I like, I imagine most players, I did a fall to Diddy because of his speed. It's a little dangerous, but you're often rewarded for doing little tricks like that. And one thing also, you can jump mid-roll even if you're off a platform to give yourself just a little bit more length with your jumps. Now, even though this is a bit of a relaxing run, there's a little bit of speed too, right? These underwater levels particularly show off the beauty of the, the graphics here. Sometimes there are little, little tricks here. Not yet though, it seems. There was a hidden passage this way. A banana guides us. So where are you, Mr. Octopus? There you are. Hello. <laughs> now we have on guard here. Our underwater mobility is greatly increased. And instead of rolling, what he does is he, of course, tries a piercing attack. One of the benefits of having him, though, is like Yoshi in Super Mario World, if you take damage, rather than actually dying, all you have to do is just keep catching on guard, or finding him again, and you don't, you're not actually in any danger. Now these little icons that we're picking up, if you get three of them, you're taking to an animal specific bonus stage where you can gain lots of lives. This game is very generous with lives, much like the Mario series is. No harm, no foul, right? Funky we'll be seeing later, but as we're still only on the first island, it doesn't do much for us. Okay, didn't quite see as far as I needed to, I think. <clears throat> There's another example of that right there. that again, shall we? And regardless of how long you're actually spinning, unless you jump, you still can do so in midair. You have a little bit of control. After you are thrown out of a barrel, but it's not really enough to count on. Not so much, anyway. We'll be seeing a lot more of this as we go on. Just little timing puzzles. Pretty creative, I must say. The 
especially they start getting trickier and higher in later levels. And tricky in a good way, of course. It's a little bit forgiving. And that's as long as you are ahead, a little above or below the barrel. Because you're actually falling just a little bit. It'll still count as if you actually landed in the barrel directly. And here is where you save the game. Basic boss fight here. And there we go. One out and down. do very much enjoy the creativity in this game as well. I have a new buddy here. The fact that even running is a bit of a hub makes him a little unwieldy. But... didn't have him, it wouldn't have been able to collect all those ten bananas that were at the very top. But, since we did have him, just like before, 100 of these leads to an extra life as well. Up here is a multiplier, which we'll be getting later. We still have a little bit of time. Alright, there we go. Now if we get the multiplier, it'll double the amount of tokens we've collected. <clears throat> Come on now. Should be worth six lives, I think. Yeah. So those tokens are very important. The barrel's gone. So is the token. I think so far we've collected every letter, right? That won't always be the case. Level beaten. Good job. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What would be the fun of that? This level is a one button level. Like pressing any of the directional pad does a new bunch of anything here. It's all jumping. Whether you're doing full hops or short hops. You'll see why later. So far so good, right? Impacting with those makes you lose a calm. 
The same is true for those little Kremlings that we found earlier. Coming in contact with one of those also makes you lose a comp. Just like that. Although I thought we made clear there. Clearly that's not the case. If you fall in a pit, you have both Kongs on your next life. If they both take damage, you only have one. Which is why there's typically a DK barrel shortly after the midway point barrel. Which are, of course, the ones that have the well, markings on them, of course. DK are the ones that give you one of your buddies back. The metal barrels never actually dissipate. The wooden ones come in two flavors. The more brittle ones break upon hitting anything. The more sturdy ones, on the other hand, break whenever they hit a wall on the side. Typically. Like these. These are the brittle ones I was talking about. They break among anything, or upon anything. Tires are, of course, for high jumping. Not too necessary yet. Another brittle barrel here. You'll be seeing me do that a lot. Rolling off the ledges and then jumping in midair. You'd be surprised how helpful it is. That's a midway point barrel. But since we're amazing at games, we won't need it, right? He says we're nearly jumping into a bee there. <laughs> like that. Checking for secrets. That old song of dance. Can you get up there? No. Probably could have if we held left. It's not too much of a problem though. She didn't know that frogs could jump on wasps, huh? Well then. Good thing so far the levels have been relatively short, right? <laughs> By holding down when releasing the run button, which you're using to pick up barrels and things, you can gently put the barrel down and reposition it later if you need to. But in this case, I guess we can't do that, can we? Get up there. I guess we're not getting the frog either, are we? What can you do, right? Not much of anything. So here's... Chance number two, right? So what we're gonna do is hold left. It didn't work. Oh well, right? So where did we die last time? It was around here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was there, I think. Everything's fine now, though. There's G. We missed the end this time. I wonder where it was. It wasn't here, was it? <laughs> Oh well. 
Another level beaten. Now those inks cannot hurt you. Unless it's green. And those dudes with the teeth, if you roll into them, you take damage. Regardless of the Kong that you are. So yeah, with a minecart level we recently passed, it's one of the defenses that we have in saying this game is a platformer. Probably going to need this tire, I think. What do you think? Oh yes. Is that just one more time to make sure we have enough time to get through? That's why. Just resetting the timer once again. Little gimmicks like these I enjoy quite a bit. Not to say the level is too terribly tricky or anything. Got another save point up here. Let's take advantage of that too, shall we? Yes, I guess you can. There's still lots of game left, of course. Funky slides will take us back to the first level. But we don't need that yet. Another off camera bonus stage that we kind of missed. I'll give you an example of what I meant before. These TNT barrels are primarily where if you only had Diddy. But we don't, so there's that, right? I'm going to go ahead and keep this tire. Did we miss K? I guess we did. That's right. So here we're spelling rare, the makers of the game. And just like before, we have another one of these. I don't quite remember where the multiplier is here. We'll just look around for it, shall we? We have some time. Not that much. These are Nintendo seconds, of course, so they're about a what? Two per actual second? It wasn't here either. Where are you? Where can be? Down here, maybe? Nope. Okay. There it is. I'm trying to be sneaky. So what I've been having to do is holding the direction against the wall. To see if that would be enough. And it was. Now the primary benefit of playing this on a system like the SNES Classic, like we are right now, is if you're playing this on the original SNES, regardless of how many lives you've collected, they'd be reset the next time you played the game. But, because of save states, that's not a problem anymore. Frog Buddy is in this level, by the way, somewhere. Which is why there is an upper path as well. We 
have a very generous invulnerability as well when you're spinning. And it seems that whenever you defeat an enemy by spinning, you gain a ton of mobility. Alright, what have you got for us this time, Cranky? We'll be seeing espresso later. So that's how this boss fight works. Avoid the nice bits of you, and jump on his head. And there it is. The Nintendo label on the bananas are a nice touch. Stage three. If only there was a jump button on the controller somewhere. <laughs> see the gimmick of timing puzzles again. Anything up here? No. I think the use of it is right here. Yep, there it is. Typically you get either tokens, a bunch of bananas, or lives for those bonus stages. But occasionally, like we've seen before, you get an animal buddy. A little bit more of a timing puzzle here. particular bonus stage is pretty fun. These bananas become worth more and more the more you bump onto these or jump onto these guys. But of course the guys get faster and faster too. There we go. Not too tricky, right? Too terribly tricky. It's one of the things I disliked about the Sonic Adventure series. Enemies just standing in place so that you can jump on them. I'd rather games not do that, you know? Because you could easily put a platform there or anything else. I was trying to show the, the audience something, game. Don't be rude. I'll see you later. Alright, so another difference between the two Kongs. Diddy holds barrels in front of him donkey above him. Both are very important for different reasons at different times, of course. What is timing? Timing does not exist. is a lie. You can typically tell there's a DK barrel nearby because there are sounds that are played. Now, 
one more time without crippling disappointment. Looks like the O has already been picked up, so we don't need to pick it up again. This isn't too terribly difficult yet, so I'm not too sure why we're losing lives here. Careful then. But not too, not too careful. For all you know, I just wanted to show that off. You don't know that's not true. Once again, so long as the barrel is above where the next barrel is, you can undershoot just a little bit, still be safe. to see if that banana was a trap, but we didn't. I think that timing's a little better. Yeah. See? Undershooting it. It's good the games are generous like that, though, don't you think? The timing puzzles have gotten trickier. And that, by the way, is a gimmick of this level. It's good when games introduce gimmicks in advance like that so you can know what to prepare for. So what we're going to do be a little bit patient here. What do you say? That's a good idea. I wasn't sure that would work. It did. It's a nice relaxing level, don't you think? It's an auto-scroller in a different kind of light, isn't it? don't need to move around too much. So long as they're the ones moving, we can just adjust our cor course accordingly. Accordingly? Accordingly. This is planned. Everything's fine. Now, they can actually hurt you, by the way, if you're on a rope, because you're not in a jump state. The jump state is what actually damages them. If anyone asks, just wanted to show off being off with Donkey, looks like. So there it is. Let's not do that again, shall we? That was kind of lame. And that was kind of pixel. Who takes notes while streaming? What a loser. Who does that? This guy does. 
This is a good level for speed. So that's what we're going to do. Just kidding, everything's fine. Just kidding, everything's a disaster. <laughs> In some games with chase sequences, if you let it get ahead of you in advance, you don't need to worry about that. But this game has a fail safe against that, and you just saw what it was. Just taking advantage of the fact that rolling over enemies makes you faster. I think that was the whole point of those being there. used to Diddy spin more than donkey or a car wheel more than donkey's roll. Having that little bit of extra momentum definitely helps. So just like before. When you're in an invulnerability state like that, jumping on them does nothing. Something to keep in mind there. mistake, but any mistake you can walk away from, right? Can't you walk away from that one twice? Can you? Cranky's cabin's all the way over here in this level. But no, we primarily play as Diddy, not donkey. What is this madness? Sometimes. There are secrets. If you go the wrong way. Now there's one trick I haven't shown off yet playing as Donkey Kong, down and wide as a ground pound, which sometimes has bananas. We should probably stop doing that on everyone. What do you say? This is the first actual level where we have espresso. Espresso kind of floats a little bit. Oh, it looks like you should be able to get up here, right? Trying to do a short hop there. Oh well, a bit louder than before. So this is a strat. Everything's fine. This time, since we saved the DK barrel, and hold it in front of us. There we go. Almost got the impression you want to jump up here, but you didn't. Too bad. My barrel went. So again, well, that was a bonus level, wasn't it? Animal buddies are only for the level that you find them in. so much in a way of new information, we have a new underwater level.
wanted to see if there was a shortcut down there. I wanted to do so safely. There we go. It's nice that you give us an animal buddy so early on in level. So that way we can lose him embarrassingly. <laughs> so that you can improve the mobility underwater. Although it really isn't so bad in this game compared to others. We could go down, but we're not doing that yet. You didn't know that monkeys could breathe underwater, did you? Surprised. Trying to show something off game, don't be rude. Donkey and Diddy have different swimming sounds. Donkey's, of course, a lot deeper because he's a bigger monkey. Okay, so you fire a projectile pretty quickly, don't you? Probably best not to ponder the logistics behind being able to spit those in three directions at once. It just is what it is, right? I haven't found one of those yet, have we? I think the ones we've found so far, yeah, everyone but that, I think. It's worth being a little reckless, don't you think? In case you're wondering, those little exclamation points that you see are levels that we found everything in. their bee friend here, you actually cannot damage him when he's red. And the more you damage him, the longer he stays red. But you can take advantage of the fact, especially with Donkey, that he holds barrels above him. And that's how. And that's that. On to level four, is it? At least getting that one up is no longer a problem, right? Just trying to navigate that bee there. become good at this by the time we move on to the next level, right? Citation needed. Here's a... See if we can do that, shall we? Was it here? Yeah, it was. I learned something. Aha! Sometimes you just know things. So I figured there was something there, I just didn't know exactly where it was. Onwards we go. this particular level. The blue ones 
go up, the red ones go down. The rope, I mean. Come now. Probably bonus area down there. Well, gutsy there. So these are going down. It's obvious trap there. down. Everything's under control. There you are. Hey, buddy. Sometimes secrets are differently marked. Other times you just kind of have to have, to have a feel for them, you know? Just like that. No, we're not going to sit here and get every one of those bananas. That wouldn't be any good at all, would it? Anything over here? Yeah, we're not doing that. Given the impression you're going backwards for some reason, but you're not. Oh, a little too long there. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. Jump, 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 jump. There it is. I think we know where K was, don't we? But since we still have plenty of lives left. Hi, buddy. This is probably stupid, but. JK. I have a little bit of air control. Looks like the snow has dissipated a little bit. Can't go there because, once again. Our hostage friend cannot damage enemies. Hey, buddy. Like it never even happened. This is a, a different kind of timing puzzle. A bit easier than what we've seen so far. some levels, even if they're further on that particular island, are easier than others. Which, I guess it makes more sense realistically that not everything can be equally tough, or have a gradual incline, but after a particularly tough level, you're kind of wondering to yourself, oh great, what's next, right? Well, it's probably going to come back. But a problem arises. How do you get up there? <laughs> right? Okay. This music is pretty, too. And the level's done, too. Now, what can you do there, right? Now, if I wasn't in such a hurry, it should have been fine. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. You take advantage of Diddy's possible smaller hitbox? 
learned a lesson here. Let's not be greedy, shall we? This is a chase after all. Interesting how that very same enemy comes into play twice. Uh-oh. Okay, so what's down here? Nothing really. But we're stuck here. <laughs> Let's make the most of it, shall we? Seems to go just about as quick as we swim. The Donkey Kong barrels are placed pretty well, in my opinion. Uh oh. Which way are you going? That way. <laughs> Calculated. Looks like we may have to do a little bit of platforming to find the multiplier here. I imagine it's down here. There it is. We'll come back to that later. Looks like Pixel found a multiplier as well, didn't she? to have at least 250 before we go after the multiplier, which we have now. Phew! <laughs> kind of hoping to get 600 there, but I'm okay with 500. 40 lives isn't bad, right? <laughs> bad at all. We have a very opinionated doggy, by the way. Which I wouldn't have any other way. <laughs> may need to take a break here in a minute. I think we will, after this level's beaten. Shouldn't be any longer than a minute or two, right? This level isn't too long. Shortcut's here. Right here is the shortcut. Remember what I said earlier about on guard? Here he is. So, what we're going to do... Because you can deal with most anything with on guard. So nothing new to tell us right now, but if you heard, it's time for us to take a break. I'll be back in a minute.
Welcome to the gimmick of this level. Our little parrot friend doesn't do much of anything offensively. But, in a few cases, comes in handy. Not necessary, but comes in handy. So far, aside from a little bit of type platforming, this level wasn't too tricky. He says when everything falls apart. It's becoming a pattern, isn't it? Once again, Donkey can jump on their head to defeat them. Diddy cannot. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of tricky platforming like that. There's G. Here's the strat. There it is. Hope you enjoyed the strat. It was overwhelming, wasn't it? Four. Five. That wasn't five, was it? Say, how many times do you have to jump on a dude before they finally get the picture, right? Was that eight times? I don't know. Level beaten, no. No exclamation point on that level. That means it wasn't beaten 100%. But we're about a third done with the game. We're actually further than that, but it counts bonus stages as well. Wonder what's in here. Our frog friend is in here. Star Fox, but I kind of want to call him Slippy. Fairly sure that's not his name. I have to do some research after this level. And there are times when you probably shouldn't try to be so greedy, right? There's a timing to this. I forgot what it was. Should probably just leave it alone. What do you say? I think that's the idea. So that's the timing here. Short, high, high. Yeah, that's it. Short. There it is. Ooh. 
Lucky can't even look at Diddy for Shane. Short. Hi. Same as before. The same pattern for every, for every one of those jumps. Return of the Rat. He has a new gimmick now. You can't damage him when he's jumping high, though. One, two, three, now. One, two, three, four, now. And there's that. I think there are, if there's any, any consolation, we still have Diddy, so that's good, right? So you want to play kind of quickly, but you can't really do that with Donkey too well. I'm trying not to break any of these oil barrels. There'll be one you'll want to break later. We won't see it. Stage is a bit of... Well, the music, more than anything else, is a combination of metal and jungle theme, and I love it. So that's the, so that's the gimmick here going forward. for the flames to recede. I didn't even know that was a DK barrel. Looked like there was a shortcut there. Tried to find it. Didn't work. Let's be a little, a little safe here, shall we? This level's more type platforming than anything else. <laughs> oh no! So is it three? One, two. Let's try that again. One, two, three. That's it. You can usually tell because it stays out a little bit longer on the last time before you're able to jump safely. And now for a particularly tough level. stage that, if you've been watching Smite's Arcade Pit, lots of people are unable to complete. Probably because I think there's a time limit typically when a stage is played. Or is it... No, I don't think it's this one. It's another one coming up where you have a bit of time before it falls off the track. I think that's what it is. This one isn't too tough. So what we're going to do here... There we go. Everything's fine. Hey, buddy. Hey, also, buddy. get that? Probably not. Let's try it anyway, shall we?
Just kidding. We totally can. Looks like there's no point of sticking around there any longer. Other than to get some bananas. This isn't too tough. There we go. That's a biscuit. <laughs> oh boy. This is a thing that's going to keep happening, isn't it? Speeding up? Yes. No joy rides. So that's how we get to the bonus barrel. But I'm not too confident in Donkey. There we go. That was a faint, wasn't it? Hey, buddy. The tooth is. They aren't much of a threat at all. We're seeing a lot more of these guys now, aren't we? That would be a bad place to have Diddy. Good thing we didn't. Two of you guys, huh? Good to know. Again, shall we? This time. Success. See, for all you know, I may have died on purpose to show off that little mini game. You may say to yourself, but you've already seen it before. And to that, I say hush. DK barrel right here. Yes. We're remembering things. And not rushing recklessly this time. JK. We're always rushing recklessly. Didn't even know there was a zinger there, did you? Well, now you do. Well, it's probably down here then. Yes, it is. The bees are called zingers, by the way. Not sure what the snakes are called. That is called recklessness. It's my favorite control scheme. This is bad. <laughs> Just kidding. Never let me rush or anything, are you? That's no fun. Easy. <laughs> Trying to find out here where we can and cannot jump. In my defense here, I nearly dropped the controller for a second, thinking I was dead, but I wasn't. Spot is not dead. Now he is. No, he's not. <laughs> okay, so what's the timing here? There it is. Okay, we've done this before. Here's where we died last time. So, let's be a little careful. Enjoy the background for a little bit. Kind of looks like a dragon, doesn't it?
can see me. Another quick save here. Yes, you can. We're more than halfway done. You're okay, puppy. You're okay. All right. So the goal here is not get hit by the very same friend that we've been damaged by. That's what, five times in a row? Six? rush but we do anyway because it's in our nature it's quite hazardous to your health but that hasn't stopped us before has it watch as we deftly avoid enemies by squeezing right between them. Threading me. The stupid fish has a kill streak on us. Can you believe that? That's not okay. It's not okay at all. Or at all. Which I guess you can call this game. Isn't it all an island? It's a type of island, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, we actually waited this time. Bonus points for learning. <laughs> that could have been bad. Here's the evil fish. Evil fish defeated. Desorted? Desorted. Alright, there you are. Alright, so here's the strat. expect in to be there, you know? Well, that's some small consolation, isn't it? No point going back to Cranky. He doesn't have too much of interest to say. Ah! <laughs> Phew! It's another form of platforming, I guess you could say. Time jumping puzzles. <laughs> okay. What do you think this is? Lazy Town? Maybe if we don't go in that barrel, there may be a Donkey Kong barrel here somewhere. Spoilers. There aren't. To learn the timing after all. I <laughs> could have been bad. <laughs> Aside from the sneeze itself being bad. Oh, I'm gonna jump way early here. There we go. I 
least what seems early. <laughs> Yeesh. That little mouse was a gotcha, wasn't it? Tricky, tricky. This, by the way. <coughs> Maybe it's not in this game after all. Take it nice and slow. why these levels became so popular in 16-bit games or even 8-bit games like Shuffle Knight did the same thing because needless waiting is not a fun mechanic sorry to say doesn't make the level any trickier. If anything, <clears throat> it slows down your pace and makes it more plodding than anything else. Just a minute. Okay, fine. <laughs> now then, where were we? That's right, needless waiting. Yeesh. <laughs> that would have been death. Okay, that's a jerk move game. But we handled it like pros. There's a shortcut here. Well, not a shortcut, a bonus stage. Here's a pretty interesting boss fight. It's a gauntlet boss more than anything else. Still no problem. No spinning this time. things a little bit easier here. Done and done. Donkey did a thing. Good for him. I think this is the final set of levels. This is it. This is the level I was thinking of. Let's be Diddy here. remember this level being pretty tricky. We'll see. We'll see if age and time make any difference.
can't get that one. George. No. Short, short, long. Short. There we go. Fine, every time you do that, except there. Because as soon as you open your mouth, you're wrong. But so long as it's always done in a fun way. No harm, no foul, right? Right. Plus, we have the end this time. I would have been a sad panda if we didn't get the fuel for that. Too tough. Mm. Now the question is, why were we given Rambi here? Now Rambi's gone. Just kidding. Rambi's not dead. And now he's gone. Forever. But Donkey isn't. I thought it would be there. Ah. Timing is just a little bit off there. More platforming. Everything's still under control, though. Just kidding. You think somebody would stop saying that, right? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, hello. This is a strat. I missed one. There we go. This again from the top. I don't think those things can be destroyed by TNT. Find out here in a second. Just kidding, we'll never find out. <laughs> Was that where we were before? I don't think so.
Did anyone else think that I was going to die there? I didn't. Supple's decent as far as atmosphere is concerned. But at least for now, it's not very tricky at all. Is it? In case you're wondering, that's a thing that can happen. It didn't work. That barrel was a lie. Don't you hate it when barrels are lies? I have to be a little careful here. Not that careful, probably. Not quite that careful. There was eight. I think that was the first case in the whole game we were able to do that. And the game was practically designed for it. So here's the strat. Let's hold on to this, we might need it later. So far the answer is no. We don't want to use it here because this is our platform. Okay. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Shouldn't be that hard at all. Consolation. That technically means we're not losing any more lives here. Number wise, we're still losing plenty of lives. But number wise. And that's what's important, right? Numbers. Yeah, we're just going to bypass you guys. Easy. So we must well demonstrate what Funky's flight says. Hey, buddy. This is what it does. Music is pretty rocking too. Probably a shortcut up there, but I'd rather keep the lights on, thank you very much. Now this is different from timing based because are the lights automatically coming on and off? Because you can actually base challenges around it, which is a good thing. Because that way it wasn't just intentionally designed to be slow. It's designed to be tricky. Big difference. But a good difference. being a little careful here which is completely unlike me and I'm ashamed that I have to do it but it is what it is right okay so you move really quickly 
was trying to compensate my jump around it. I think you jump when I do. Which is pretty cute. Interesting change on those particular enemies. Yes, you do jump when I do. From one bonus stage to another. Alright, so just like before, we have plenty of time to get to 250, so... We do have to get to 250, though. Alright, that's probably good. Because we don't have too much time left. Nintendo seconds and all that. Boy, I was being greedy there. But it paid off. Boy, did it pay off. Will that bring us back to 40? Yes. That brings us back to 40. Awesome. that in time. We missed K somewhere. Good to know. Oh, I didn't want to make that jump. <laughs> Did not want to make that jump. Oh, it just got trolled. Just got trolled. In the best way. Yeah, we do. Plenty worth saving. Okay, the potential strat there was... go ahead and drop it on the enemy to see if the barrel would have survived. I don't think it would have, but you never know, right? Until you try. those skills. So pro. So totally pro. My defense, though. How could you really tell which way to go? Now we know, though. Won't have that problem again, right? Assuming we learn from mistakes. Let's not say something that we can't take back. Like when we made it about halfway through the level, I've tempted to start gloating at my abilities. But I didn't. See? Because we're learning. We're learning many things in many ways. I'm going to hold on to you. See, so we were going left after all. You just didn't know it yet. Let's 
See, that's a troll. You think there'd be another bouncy guy there, but there wasn't. So this is player two, Nikki. I prefer the original outfit more. Maybe I'm weird. I don't think I am. Couldn't keep up. I think that only leaves one thing. Hey, buddy. Love this, Adrian. The music is just fantastic. cannonballs. They go through three three phases. We're fine just standing here. I'm gonna bounce one more time. There you go. Throw your crown. And that's the game. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Donkey Kong Country. Something strange. So only five people worked on this game, right? Or was it six? Counting is hard. In case you're wondering, this boss fight is a bit of a marathon. 